weekend beating a tough team twice. Let's just start by talking about Friday and Sunday's win down at FAU. Well, really, it was a whole week. You know, we went down to BB&T and, and played Winthrop and, and beat a good Winthrop team on Tuesday. Uh, got back here later on Tuesday night, left on Wednesday, and went and played at NC State, who's a top 20 team this year, and, and kind of hit the wall a little bit physically against NC State. We were competitive. Uh, we were in the game. Um, and, you know, then got on a plane on Thursday, uh, flew down uh, to Fort Lauderdale, which is a great place to be, by the way, as you know. Uh, had a lighter practice on Thursday um, and then played really well on Friday, uh, won the Friday game. Uh, did not play very well on Saturday and lost and then really just had a great effort on Sunday. Just really proud of our guys. The effort level beat, you know, the 12th ranked team in the country twice on the road. Uh, to finish off what was a pretty darn good week, you know, with playing five road games and, and winning three of the five and, and, you know, four of those games against, you know, top 15 teams in the country. So uh, happy for our guys. They put in a lot of hard work and, and, you know, it was a good week. And now we get to turn around and try to do it again this week. What's it like in the dugout? from the ninth inning on Sunday when you just keep going extra innings and the grind just keeps going? You know, a couple of guys, and because the scoreboard only goes to 10 innings, and a couple of guys said, what inning we in? And, you know, Zach Jarrett and a couple of our pitchers, you know, are like, we don't care. Let's just get this thing done. Let's finish the game. Um, and that's, you know, that's kind of the mode that you want guys to be in. You're not concerned about what inning it is. You're not concerned about any other. Let's, let's try to maximize you know, each pitch and each at bat and, and each defensive uh, chance we get. Part of the reason Sunday drew over and Holden Caps got player of the week in the conference, talk about their efforts last week. Well, you know, I, I don't remember even our first go around in Conference USA or now our second go around now that we're in the league again. I don't remember a time when the same program has, has gotten both the hitter and the pitcher of the week. Now, that's probably has happened, but. Just really proud of, of not only those two guys, but proud of our team. And both, you know, uh, Caps and Ober will tell you it's a, it's a team game and they couldn't do what they need to do without the support of, of the guys, you know, in the locker room with them every day. So it's, it's good to be able to, to have those guys recognized. It's really good that we won two out of the three games in the series. Uh, we got another difficult, challenging week this week with a midweek game on Wednesday and then back on the road again at Middle Tennessee. Let's say North Carolina back home briefly Wednesday night and then right back on the road to face another good team in Middle Tennessee. You know, Middle's been a tough matchup for us, you know, the two years that we've played. And, and, and you know, uh, their coaching staff does a great job. Uh, and we're going to try to adjust a few things this week in practice. A little bit banged up physically now. Um, we're not going to use that as an excuse, but the reality is we're going to have to adjust some things you know, in practice today and adjust some things even on Wednesday and Thursday to give us the best chance to, to be able to play at a high level again this weekend. The, the conference weekends, as you know, every weekend is just crazy, you know, yeah. just very competitive and, and a game here or there uh, can matter at the end. What else can you tell us about North Carolina A&T tomorrow and then Something I wanted to touch on, Middle Tennessee has already run the gauntlet of Southern Miss, FAU, and Rice, so their yeah. record's going to be really deceiving going into the weekend. Yeah, you know, a and is an up-and-coming program. They had a coaching staff change here within the last year. The guys are doing a great job. Um, you know, and, it, and it's, it's, it's a situation where we needed a midweek game. They could fill that midweek game for us with the travel. We needed to play at home in the midweek. And, and even though there's a lot of schools around here that are potential – uh, schools for us to play and programs for us to play. Uh, they were able to play here in Charlotte this midweek, and we felt like we needed to do that. So looking forward to getting back out on the field again for practice today and looking forward to getting back out there on, on Wednesday and playing A&T. Uh, Middle Tennessee's record is extremely deceiving. They've played uh, most of the top in schools. They actually beat Rice and they beat FAU. <laughs> so. Uh, we're going to see good arms. We're going to see a very athletic team. We're going to see a very well-coached team. They were one of the top teams in our league last year. Uh, it's going to be a very difficult challenge for us this weekend.